Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So Justin is at work today and I haven't been doing a whole lot. I did call around to some like oral surgery places around us. Unfortunately since we do live in a smaller area there's not a whole lot of options and um, the one that my dentist referred me to doesn't accept our insurance and you have to basically go to three appointments. Um, you go to a consult which is where they review your x-rays and kind of explain everything and all that good stuff and then you have the appointment where you get your tooth or teeth removed and then you have to go back for a follow-up to make sure everything's healing properly and all that good stuff and just the consult is three hundred dollars i don't even want to know how much it would be to take the teeth out and then again for the checkup appointment i don't know but we don't have that kind of money and i'm not gonna do that so i'm trying to find somebody that has or that does accept the dental insurance that we have I don't have health insurance, but I do have dental and vision. I just didn't want y'all to be confused because I'm always talking about how I don't have insurance. I do have dental and vision, just not health because health is freaking expensive. Anyways, um, yeah, I called around and I haven't really had any luck, so I'm going to call around to some more places tomorrow. I kind of forgot about it until about an hour ago when Justin asked me if I'd called anyone. I was like, um, let me do that now. Um, and it is 440, so most places are fixing it close. So I'm going to wait and call some more tomorrow. And hopefully I find someone that accepts our insurance. Um, if not, I'm going to have to go to the one that Justin went to because they do accept our insurance. It's still expensive, but at least it pays for, you know, some of it. Um, but the one Justin went to, we weren't really fond of. Uh, so he's kind of like a last resort kind of thing. He didn't, he wasn't the best and he wasn't very courteous. And like, he, you can tell he didn't really care about his patients. He just like wants to get the job done, get his money and be done with it kind of a thing. So anyways... Um, if we have to go to him, I will, but I just would rather not. So we're kind of seeing what other options we have with that. But anyway, I'm still taking my antibiotics and stuff. I haven't had to take any pain medicine since yesterday evening. Um, it's like mostly just soreness now. It's not like a throbbing pain like it was before. Um, so I've been still putting ice pack and doing the mouthwash and all that good stuff. So I can definitely tell it's getting better, but it is still a little bit sore. I don't know. It's, it's like a... I don't know, it's weird. It's just still sore, basically. So, uh, but I can tell it's getting better. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna finish up the video. I got it edited. I'm just waiting for it to finish exporting so I can upload it. And then I'm gonna cook dinner. I don't know what we're gonna have last night. I don't know if I even said what we had last night. We had a hamburger patty with a side of spinach, like a small spinach salad, and then squash and zucchini grilled. So we had that leftovers for lunch. And now I think I'm gonna do chicken with grilled veggies tonight. Uh, sounds good to me. We'll probably do like broccoli, bell pepper, onion, and chicken, maybe. Kind of like, kind of like chicken fajitas without the tortillas and also add broccoli, if that makes sense. Okay. So anyways, I think that's what we're going to do, but yeah, like I said, for now I'm going to finish up the video and I guess we'll go from there. Okay guys, Justin's home now. My hair looks a little crazy. Sorry, <laughs> I look a mess today, but um, Justin is home. He's been home for a couple hours and we had dinner. I did go ahead and I made some chicken. My hair is literally going everywhere. Um, made some chicken with, what all was in there? Broccoli, carrot, onion, bell pepper. Maybe that was it, I'm not sure. Just a bunch of different veggies and it was really good. Uh, we got leftovers for lunch tomorrow and we stopped at Brahms to get, I got a um, frozen yogurt. Right, Justin got a cookies and cream. This is huge, oh my gosh. Um, but these are melting. I just wanted to show you guys that we got us a little treat. Um, so we're gonna eat these real quick before they melt all over us. So we finished eating our ice cream and we were riding around for a little bit. And we just, like, we're just riding around in like a normal neighborhood in, in this town. And we see these people on their bikes and they're like, cause it's pretty nice out right now. It's only in the 70s. My phone said 78, I think. Um, but anyways, it's pretty nice out. It's getting dark, so it's getting nice and cool. And people, there's a bunch of people out, you know, just walking or riding bikes or playing outside, that kind of thing. So anyways, we walk in their goats. <laughs> yeah, there's three people on a bike and they're just sitting there and there's a goat playing around right behind them in the middle of the, like on the side of the road. And we're just like, what in the hell? Oh, is he not with them? Yeah. Oh, he is right. with them still. What the heck? I'm gonna try to record it, but they're, I don't want them to see me. Oh, uh, can you guys see the goat? Oh my gosh, how funny. Look at him, he's cute. Who just has a goat in the middle of town? <laughs> I don't know. We used to have, um, we used to live on the outside of like a really tiny town. 
but when we were growing up and we had a goat. And it always sounded like it was saying Matt, so we always used to yeah. make fun of him for that. But I don't remember, I think it, <laughs> whatever. But we used to have one, and um, he was crazy. But yeah, I've never seen one on the inside of town, like people having them just on the inside of town. But there we go. That was uh, interesting to see. But anyways, now the goat thing is over with. <laughs> Justin had a pretty rough day. I feel bad for him. And now his sinuses are all acting up and he can't breathe. So that on top of it. Plus it's a Monday for him. So it's just not a good day today. I'm ready for him to get some rest and, and Got wake late. up fresh. I was gonna say, oh, I was gonna tell you guys that my jaw or my tooth, my whole mouth, I guess, is feeling pretty much, I would say like 90% better. Like, there's just, like, I can chew on this side a little bit too now, and it's just getting better. And it only hurts with like certain movements. Like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's weird, but um, it's definitely getting better. But I'm gonna finish taking my antibiotics and stuff, you know, just to be safe. And, um, I'll probably use that mouth mouth <laughs> wash. Uh, probably just here and there. I'll probably keep it and use it like even when this is gone. Just because, you know, like I said, my gums are open. So I'll probably just use it randomly once in a while um, to flush that stuff out. Flush food and stuff that can get stuck in there out. And until I can go get um, them removed. But yeah. We are gonna be heading home so Justin can get ready for bed. I'm, I was thinking about, I was telling Justin I might wake up early and make him an omelet because we bought the stuff to make omelets at breakfast and then he went to work and we weren't thinking that he leaves so early in the morning and we still bought breakfast stuff. And so we need to cook it so it doesn't go to waste. So, I, I mean, I guess we could cook it now and just package it up for him, but it'd be, it'd be nice to eat it fresh too though, you know? So, I don't know, I may do that. All right guys, so as you saw, I just finished cooking us omelets. I put spinach in mine. Justin didn't want spinach because he didn't want to have to go potty at work. Uh, so, he didn't have spinach in his. But, um, I love making omelets. They're super quick, easy, and they're actually pretty healthy for you. I mean, ham's probably not the healthiest for you, but egg's good for you, spinach is good for you. So, not a bad breakfast. But yeah, and then I got Justin's lunch and everything packed for tomorrow. And now he's laying down watching Tammy, which is um, Chelsea Lynn is her channel. She's, if you didn't watch our last mukbang at KFC, um, we talked about her, but she does mukbangs and just like funny type videos. Um, but she's freaking hilarious. And Justin's watching a couple of her videos before he goes to bed. Um, he's cracking up over there. She's freaking hilarious. But like I said, she is very, she talks about very mature stuff and very, like adult language is used and stuff like that. So I wouldn't say mature. Why? Like it's for mature content. Well, that's what I meant. Like but she's not. She's mature. not mature. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Like yeah, I know. What you be mean, of yeah. age to watch it. I guess <laughs> she does. She talks about uh, you know body parts and uh, sex and stuff. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. So uh, just be warned if you do go over there and watch her channel. But anyways, that's what we're doing. I'm going to lay down and watch some videos as well and get ready for bed. Sorry this was a pretty pretty chill, laid back video. But we hope you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching if I didn't say that already. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.